In this short lecture, let's take a look at the overview of SharePoint 2013. Here are some of the high-level features spotlight of SharePoint 2013. It provides better mobile support, fully integrated with Office 365. It comes with a built-in app model with Microsoft Marketplace, so you can download apps for free or you can purchase them. SharePoint 2013 is also integrated with Yammer, and Yammer is something like Facebook for your organization only. It also provides enhanced social features, service-based model to integrate with Microsoft Azure, better governance, better workflows, and more importantly, the eDiscovery Center is also part of SharePoint 2013. In addition, new business services, connectivity with lines of business applications, OneDrive integration, and also comes with a new interface. Now within SharePoint 2013, it's very easy to navigate. It's just like browsing a website. And I'm sure we are all very, very familiar with browsing the internet. So SharePoint works the same way. It contains various links. You can create web pages within your SharePoint environment. You can create websites for each department, for example, within the organization. You can add images, videos, text, customize any which way you can, just like you would design a website. Here's some of the enhancements that SharePoint 2013 provides. For example, it has richer business intelligence support, social and collaboration features are built in, offers several new services fully integrated with the Azure platforms. And more importantly, the HTML5 version is integrated with SharePoint. In other words, if you were to design websites or web pages using the HTML5 language, you can do so very easily. And as far as storage is concerned, the OneDrive integration is built in, so you don't have to worry about storing documents on your own hard drive. And with the apps, Marketplace and Office.com, for example, you would have the option to download several apps in various categories such as productivity, financial, and so on. The HTML-based master pages, you can use Adobe Dreamweaver, for example, or Microsoft Expression Web, or any other HTML editor to edit your websites or web pages. And to brand a SharePoint site is very easy. Designers can just create a site designed using HTML5 or cascading style sheets and even include JavaScripts. You can fully customize and brand your SharePoint environment. Once you create a website within SharePoint, you can brand it, customize it, change the background, insert logos, and so forth. So it depends on your own requirement. Here are some of the features of SharePoint 2013 as far as the web content management is concerned. It allows cross-site publishing, you can embed videos, allows for image renditions, provides clean URLs, in other words simplified URL structure so users can easily navigate from one site to the other also has metadata navigation capability variations in content translation is part of SharePoint 2013 it's optimized for search engines and of course the benefit in the end is it's built for the internet it's built for the cloud it's built for the mobile and supports the tools and workflows designers use some of the social features include community social tagging easily share content and activities follow documents, people, sites, tags, and activities. It comes with improved activity streams, and you can also benefit from the improved My Sites and save locally as well. So in a nutshell, the social benefits that SharePoint 2013 provides, it builds a robust metadata structure, so it's easier to search content within SharePoint 2013. You can link people, teams, content, and activities. For example, if you're working on a project and you need to communicate and collaborate with your project members. SharePoint 2013 does this very easily. SharePoint 2013 is fully integrated with Office 365. So some of the features include web-based access to the Office apps. You can drag and drop from the desktop right to your SharePoint environment. So for example, if you have a document stored on your computer, you can simply drag the document in SharePoint server. The Exchange server is fully integrated as well and provides improved alerts and notifications. And the benefits are simply that whether you're working online or offline, it doesn't really matter. It synchronizes 
seamlessly and provides an improved end user experience with the aggregated view into the entire desktop. The search features within SharePoint 2013 are great. Fast integration provides hover panels. You can search by metadata. Search result customization can be done and it provides improved analytics as well. And the real benefit that you'll get out of this is that it is easier to manage user permissions, provides comprehensive reports as far as security is concerned, and then rec provides recommendations for permissions cleanup structure. The cloud features include narrowing parity between online and on-premise, robust integration between desktop and the platform, speeding up the delivery of new features. So essentially SharePoint 2013 is built for the cloud. And some of the benefits are provides faster realization of the benefits of the cloud and access to tools and data anytime, anywhere from any device. Let's take a look at some of the performance services of SharePoint 2013. Transparency and accountability is what SharePoint 2013 provides and it also allows the ability to access the SharePoint environment using your own browser. So whether you're using Internet Explorer or Chrome or any other browser, it's very easy to simply navigate to a website and access your SharePoint server. So here's an example of connecting your Outlook, for example, your email client with SharePoint. So it's very easy to synchronize documents and emails from Outlook to SharePoint and vice versa. Similarly, if you have tasks on your SharePoint calendar, they can be synchronized with tasks in your Outlook as well. And you can set up alerts and reminders so that you don't miss any important deadline. So in this high-level overview of SharePoint 2013, we took a look at several features and capabilities of SharePoint and how easy it is to collaborate, communicate, and share information within your organization or outside your organization. So I hope this helps. Let's move to our next lesson.